Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events. And in the previous video, we finished with initialization event. Now we will move on to next event. Our next event is at selection screen. We all know event triggers by a action whenever user performs some action or event trigger at some specific time. At selection screen event triggers or at selection screen event calls whenever user performs some action. Where user will perform the action? User will perform the action on the selection screen or input screen. So at selection screen event calls whenever user performs some action on the selection screen or input screen. Action can be anything. User is pressing enter, user is going for some click. So at that time, which event will call? At selection screen event will call. Now suppose simple, simple example. I'm running the program. Whenever I will run the program, yes, firstly, initialization event will call and now my selection screen or input screen appears. Suppose I gave some value. I gave some value and pressed enter. So it means I'm performing an action on the selection screen or input screen. So at that time, which event is calling? at selection screen event is calling now the next thing simple simple understanding you are giving the input and you are performing action on the selection screen then why why we are doing this suppose i am giving the value of payment mode i am going for the value of currency and i am performing some action on the selection screen so it means what is the purpose of this event? How it will be benefited to us? It means you are validating the input. After passing the input, you are checking that the input is correct or wrong. Suppose I gave the value of payment mode and I pressed enter. If the value is wrong, yes, system will give me the error that you are passing a wrong value. So main, main benefit of at selection screen event is you are validating the input. After passing the data, whatever the action you will perform on the selection screen, at selection screen event will call. So it will check whatever the input you passed it is correct or wrong it is correct or not so yes in the projects or always make a golden rule whenever you are going for any validations always always take as a part of add selection screen event always always validations should be the part of your add selection screen event now, what we will do, we will go for validation of payment mode. Suppose we all know the payment mode is always credit card, debit card or net banking. Suppose simple, if user is giving the wrong value of payment mode and going for some action on the screen, we will give an error to the user that please, please go for correct value of payment mode because validation should be the part of which event at selection screen. Now, now payment mode is an optional field on the screen. I have not taken it mandatory. Yes, it is an optional. If user is passing or user is not passing, it is user wish. But if user is passing, it should be C or D or N. It should not be other than C, D or N. This is the requirement. So we will write this logic. 
we will validate this input. So I will write, I am writing add selection screen. Now, firstly, we will check user is passing the payment mode or not. If user is not passing the payment mode, then why we should validate that field? We will not validate because it is a optional. It is not a mandatory field. So I will simply, simply check if, what is the field name for the payment mode? S underscore PM. You all know, suppose if I will run, I'll just comment this and show you so that we can understand fully. This is which value? This is low value. This is low. This is low. This is low. This is high. So we are checking the low value. If S underscore PM hyphen low is not initial. You all know what is the meaning of is not initial. Is not initial means is not null, is not blank, is not empty. If user is passing the value of payment mode, we will check. If it is other than C, if it is not equal to C, you all know not equal to symbol is this. If it is not equal to C, now we should go for and and because we it should be all conditions should be satisfied. Yes, it should not be other than C, D and N. All conditions should be satisfied. So we need to check the payment mode should not be if payment mode is not equal to C payment mode is not equal to D and payment mode is not equal to N and means net banking. All three conditions should be true. If the payment mode is other than these three values, then we need to give a error. Then we need to give an error. And you all know we should always, always give the message through message class. So I will go to SC91 transaction code. And I will give some, I'll go to the message class. I'll go for change mode. Suppose I will give a message. Pass the correct payment. We'll save. Now the message number is 004. We all know the keyword is message. I will give an error message, but in the message number 004. And in the bracket, we will give the message class. You all know this is the way to give a message. So I did the validation part as a part of which particular event? App selection screen event. I will check the syntax and I will activate the now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with a new event. What is the new event? Add selection screen. This event calls whenever user performs action on the selection screen. Action can be anything. Action can be enter also. Action can be click also. Any action, whatever the user is performing on the selection screen at that time, yes, add selection screen event will call. Then how it is benefited? Simply after giving the input, if you are going for some action on the screen, it means you want to validate the input. So always, always validate the input 
with the help of add selection screen event. In the next video, we will understand this code in the debugging mode that how our code is triggering and giving the expected output. So that's it in this video. Thank you.